Well, that worked out really well. Now that all the pistons are clean, the grooves are clean, the holes are clean, everything looks pretty good from, from my perspective. clean up these um, pistons and piston rings because there is a bit of gunk in there in the piston ring grooves just a little bit let me try and give you a better picture down in there you can see the the black kind of crud that's sitting there yeah so we want to get rid of that now, I was wrong earlier about um, these pistons. These pistons are the original ones uh, that uh, BMW sold with the car. Maybe they were updated for one year, but um, do you see how the oil rings? Do you see how the oil holes here that allow oil to pass? They actually move those from there to right here. So what some people do is they drill these out a little bit to get better oil control. I'm debating doing that right now because you just put another hole there and hole there and same on the other side. But um, because these are, I believe that they're balanced, um, I'm a little bit nervous about doing that, taking off too much material. I don't know if I have the right drill bit, but um, I'll think about it, maybe putting in some holes in here. But it seems like this engine is not suffering from oil loss so much. It is burning some oil, but um, it's not like bad. So I'm gonna think about that. So I just want to show you guys a little bit about what I'm doing here. My weapons of choice have uh, expanded a little bit here to a wire brush, small wire brush, a pick, tiny pick here, and I have these small steel um, brushes. They're super tiny. Um, I originally bought these for another project. I thought they were a lot bigger, but they're like, you know, the size of your hand. Um, these are also coming in handy. So what I'm just gonna put piston two down because I've cleaned that one pretty well uh, The the myth is that um, when your car is burning oil um, And it's the rings that are the cause uh, You know your rings can get stuck. Well here There is a ton of carbon in those ring gaps and um, I know on my E90, my 325, uh, that's definitely happened here. So as you can see, probably maybe because of the valve stem seals going bad or the, the rings starting to go bad, you know, piston, which piston was it? Piston one, two, and three were really bad, but piston six, was not that bad. But still here we have the same amount, more or less the same amount of carbon buildup. So um, when cleaning these, so cleaning between the grooves here, uh, my strategy here, let me take this oil ring off first. Um, as you can see here, there's quite a bit of carbon in the grooves. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's quite a bit of built, built up carbon in there. What I'm doing is with my pick, because it's, it's quite in there, so I'm gently scraping it away, like that. Trying not to gouge anything in the second uh, ring gap also. But the top ring gap is too small for my little pick here. My pick is uh, tapers, and I can't actually get in that groove. So what I'm using is this fine 
steel brush to get in there because it seems like the top ring is actually the worst. So the top ring is on either side of the crank pins here, not the crank pins, the connecting rod pins. What do you call these? Has the most buildup, which is interesting. And now it kind of makes sense because that's where they're putting the holes, the drainage holes on the new piston uh, on either side. Well, all around the top pin, it's pretty corroded. So what I do is I go with the steel brush, go around the edge, scrape it all off. This one's going to take a bit longer. Then I hit it with some brake clean. And uh, yeah, that's my process so far. And it's been working pretty well. So I'm thinking now that I'm, I'm seeing these, these pistons up close, the worse your valve stem seals get, the more you're burning oil. And the more that you're burning oil, the more burnt oil gets stuck in between these ring gaps, right? Look at look at this corrosion on here. The, sorry, not the corrosion, the, the burnt carbon. That also gets stuck in between your ring gaps. Maybe that's what's pushing the ring gaps out and wearing them out sooner. So if you have valve stem seals that are going, yeah, sure, you can get away with a liter of oil um, every thousand kilometers, but in the long run, what you're doing is you're, you're wrecking your your rings and once your rings go if a ring cracks you know your blocks gone so I know that I drove for quite a long time maybe even a year on my uh, car before actually diving into this issue to try and fix the valve stem seals valve stem seals can lead to stuck rings and stuck rings can lead to cylinder wall wear and or even crankcase failure if you run out of oil and you don't know because these BMW um, digital gauges are, are terrible, they don't update regularly or as frequently, so you don't actually know how much oil you have until it's too late. If you have a valve stem seal problem, you know, I suggest that you get it fixed or get rid of the car. Because <laughs> you, you can only survive on it for so long. So we're on piston four and I've updated my technique a little bit. What we're doing is um, first I'm hitting it, I'm, I've hit the other ones with this uh, like oven cleaner stuff first. Then I'm using the pick, the pick to go through all the grooves. And once I feel satisfied with the cleanliness of the grooves, I'm using the smaller one to go across the top. Wish this one needs a little bit more work. Then I'm using this um, wire brush. You have to actually clean right here below the, the holes just a little bit, just taking off that extra bit of carbon near the holes on either side, but not scratching the piston too much, just getting the, getting the carbon near the holes. And then, on top, again using the oven cleaner, we're scraping the top of the piston with the harder, harsher steel brush. Like that. And then we're using a scotch right pad. This is just an old kitchen, um, what do you call this? A kitchen foam scotch bright pad for cleaning dishes. And then you hit it with brake clean, everything. Clean everything off. And again, wipe it with the, the pad. And you have yourself a pretty decent looking um, piston. All clean and ready to get put, put back together. Whew, 
Two more to go. Well, that worked out really well. Now that all the pistons are clean, the grooves are clean, the holes are clean, everything looks pretty good from, from my perspective. Nah, there's a little bit more there that I could get out. I'll go over these just one more time to make sure before I put the rings in. We're gonna now turn our attention to the block. I'm going to start to clean off this old gasket material. Um, here, 0.18. 2, 0 0.18. 